Hello guys, today let's make an experiment and do the same thing in Laravel Livewire versus Vue.js. So I've created two identical forms in Livewire and Vue.js for both classical examples of dependent dropdowns of country, city. So when you choose a country, then the list of cities is refreshed. And then the same thing with Vue.js. It is identical visually, so if you choose a country, again, the city, but the code is totally different. And let's compare Livewire and Vue.js for the same thing. Generally, what is the structure of the components? And maybe for those of you who are undecided, which one to start learning, or for those of you who want to maybe switch from Livewire to Vue.js or vice versa, this video can be a demo example of simple concepts and help you to choose. So dropdowns, dependent dropdowns, historically what we did back in the days, like 15 years ago, I found some examples with plain JavaScript. I remember back in the day we were hard coding the values in the JavaScript variables and then do something like this. So on change of subject select, then processing the options of another JavaScript object like this. So this is an example from really old days. Then it got a bit better with jQuery. So same thing, hard coded values, but this time in selects directly. So fruits and like banana orange and stuff like that. And then there's JavaScript or jQuery code on change of one select. We just filter the options for another select and changing the HTML. Things got even better with Ajax when people started loading the second dropdown from the server. And this is another example of that with jQuery. So get the state is the function of jQuery, which makes the Ajax request to get the state by country. And then the main thing is this. So we're reloading HTML of the second dropdown based on the values that we get from the server. And I remember doing things with jQuery like this for a very long time until things changed into like modern era of JavaScript frameworks and full stack development where first Vue.js appeared on the screen alongside React and Angular, but Vue.js is kind of more popular in Laravel community. That's why I'm talking about Vue in this video. And also Livewire came pretty recently and challenged the whole thing of how to do this dropdown thing. So now I will show you the code of Livewire versus Vue. So step by step, the code of the project, the code, by the way, will be available on GitHub. I will link that in the description of this video. So we have two routes for Livewire version and view version. In the Livewire version, we have only route view for both. Actually, we don't have any controllers. And if we go to Livewire blade here, it's just HTML with Livewire loaded as component called company. So for example, we're adding the company of country and city and maybe more fields here. And to enable Livewire to work in the main blade, we need to add Livewire styles, Livewire scripts. And of course, we need to install that in the composer JSON. So you need to run composer require Livewire Livewire like this. So this is the setup. And then inside of that companies, that component consists of two files. So you run the command PHP artisan live wire make companies or make live wire companies. And then it generates something like this. So component of live wire, which is actually pretty similar to any Laravel controller. So you have the public variables, then mount is the same as constructor in Laravel controller or any PHP class then render shows the blade live wire companies, which we will get in a minute, and then a few more methods here. But basically, we're working with Laravel or PHP language. And this is more suitable for back end developers historically, who don't really want to dive into JavaScript world with NPM compilations, assets and all of that, they can just continue working with live wire. So what is happening here? The mount is setting up the values, the initial values for the components. So we get country all for the dropdown of these countries. And then the city list by default is empty collection. Then we render the live wire companies. So the blade file of resources views live wire companies blade. It's a general Laravel blade. There's nothing different from general Laravel blade with all the HTML and all the syntax like this one. So for each of the cities, we continue working with Laravel language. So we don't really need to learn much new, except for binding the select values like this. So wire model country is the syntax to bind the country value to the public property of the component. So whenever that country is changed, there is a method called updated country 
or updated any value, then we just load the cities from the database. So we don't do any specific API call to the server or Ajax request. We just, again, work with Laravel language, with Eloquent and get the values that we need. And after this, the render method is called automatically. So refreshes the whole thing, that whole component behind the scenes. So whenever I click this, Actually, this part is re-rendered from the server, the whole HTML. You cannot really see that in the browser visually, but you would probably see some delay if the form was really, really big. And then when that form is refreshed, now this cities has the value of getting the cities from the countries. And now in the blade, this for each already has values of the city. And then you can bind the whole form to a method of store company, for example, wire submit, there's wire submit prevent, it would be the same as prevent default in JavaScript. And then in store company, you can just create the company with the values of the drop down. So name, city, country and others. I didn't even implement that in this repository. So this is just as an example, what you can do. So basically, you operate with the same PHP and Laravel values, the syntax is almost identical to the validator of Laravel, and you don't need to learn any JavaScript for that. So that's the beauty of Livewire. And now let's take a look at the view version. The view version starts with the same thing. So route view to the blade file. And if we open view blade, it's a typical HTML for full page. And inside of that HTML, we have a component. So this is the same logic in Livewire, you have at Livewire something in the Vue.js, you load the component, which I called country city. And then at the bottom, there's another difference, you need to load the script of app.js, which you didn't have to do in Livewire. But this is kind of the same as you would do Livewire styles, Livewire scripts. So this is the syntax for the Vue.js. Now for Vue.js to work, you need to add the package JSON thing. So dependencies for view and maybe some view more libraries if you use something else around that. And then you need to fill in the resources JS app JS file, you need to register the component, which is like country city, which is the same as this name. And you need to create the component in your folder of resources JS components, and then you can call it whatever you want. So country city dot view, for example, if we open that country city dot view, it consists of two parts, the template, which is HTML. So in live wire case, it would be the blade file. And then at the bottom, you have script with all the logic of what should happen with variables. So these are roughly the same variables as you saw in live wire component as public properties in the component with PHP language. It's kind of the same with JavaScript, but with loading the API request, the Ajax request from the server. Instead of assigning the variables in constructor, we're immediately doing the API call. And remember in Livewire, there was a mount method. So it's pretty similar here mounted, we get API call to countries and assign this countries, which is defined in here as empty array by default we assign that to the response from the server. So there is a specific API call API route, and I will get to that in a minute. And also method get cities is loading the country cities by country ID, and then assigning the result to the cities variable and assigning the selected city to the first of those results, which is this so you fill in cities and selected city here. And in the template, the live wire had wire model, Vue.js has V model, as you can see, V model selected country and then V on change get cities, which we saw just now. Also options are loaded with V4. So it's the same as for each in the blade and the cities are also loaded with V4 cities. So this variable is the same as script part this one. And then there's also V model for selected city. So what I'm getting to, it's the same thing, but with a bit syntax difference, probably the only two major differences is that Vue.js has API and API is in the controllers is app HTTP controllers, cities controller, for example, it could be stored as a separate app HTTP controllers API cities controller, maybe it could be more technically correct. And then in routes API file, we have route get to countries and resource to the cities controller. So those two API calls. And if we go to for example, cities controller, we use API resources 
to get the cities and return only ID and name of the city. So we transform the result from the API request. So that's one major difference. You have a separate API call from the Vue.js to API. And another major difference is the compilation part. So in Livewire, you don't need to compile anything. You just write the Livewire code as in PHP code as in Laravel in Blade, and you just save the file and it works immediately. In the Vue.js case, you need to recompile that thing in the Vue Blade. So this JS app JS is compiled from all the JavaScript assets when you run npm run dev or npm run watch if you want to do it on the fly. So basically all your JavaScript needs compilation. So these are two major architectural differences. When choosing Livewire versus Vue.js or any other, in fact, JavaScript framework, ask yourself, do you need the separation of front end and back end? And in many cases, it makes sense to have like front end team. So if you have front-enders on your team and back-enders, so back-enders take care of the API and front-enders write only Vue.js code. So in that setup, it makes sense to use Vue over Livewire. But if you have one developer on the team or on that specific feature, who knows the live wire better and doesn't want to dig deeper into Vue.js or JavaScript or compilation, then use live wire. Also, Vue.js is a better approach if you have API, which could be reusable. So we created that list of countries and list of cities. What if you have a mobile app in the future or maybe even now you could reuse the same API requests, API endpoints to get the list of cities for the mobile app? In case of Livewire, if you have Livewire and you have a mobile app, you would still need to create that API endpoints manually. So that's another reason towards Vue.js over Livewire. But generally what I've seen while talking to you guys online on Twitter and in YouTube comments, there are two camps of people. Vue.js and API approach is praised by people who are more historically full stack developers or even front end developers with some Laravel experience or people who are working with a separate teams of front enders and back enders, bigger corporations, bigger teams, bigger projects, separations of concerns, separation of work makes sense. And Livewire is praised mostly by Laravel developers who don't know much of JavaScript or don't like it that much and just want to continue working with Laravel language to achieve some dynamic results. And they are usually either solo developers or working with a very small team or they are assigned the task to complete alone. So they don't have a front-ender or back-ender in their disposal. They just need to complete the mission, the function, and Livewire is kind of like extended version of the same thing. So these are my thoughts with a practical example on Livewire versus Vue. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? I'm not totally right all the times. And in fact, recently I get quite a lot of criticism if I post something wrong, post some tip without context, which seemed like a bad practice. So I'm totally happy to receive your comments, discuss, maybe fix something that I published, which is not ideal. So be active in the comments and let's discuss Livewire versus Vue.js. What do you think? And if you want to support my mission of these daily videos, of course, you can subscribe to the channel and help my mission of 100k subscribers, which will give me the silver play button from YouTube. And also support me financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now, Quick Admin Panel Generator, which actually has Livewire version and Vue.js version with API, then Livewire Kit set of components and 20 courses on my Teachable account. See you guys in other videos.